We've been talking about this. When are we going live? Yeah, we are live. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We've been talking about this for six hours. Please remember something. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Uh, so. Hello. We're arguing about stuff. Yeah. Uh, so. We uh, are. Yeah. So I can say. I yeah. can say. So we are uh, the eye tracking team from uh, Bring.io. We are a new startup uh, that's stationed in Stockholm, Sweden. And we are interested in doing uh, eye tracking. Eye tracking, and to uh, to have this interaction with the eye, we want to. Game developers. Yes. So. Oh. Yeah, uh, don't forget, the, we are doing an open question here. So don't forget, be afraid to ask questions. Yes. We'll attempt to answer them as best as we can, except for why we're late. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that's company secrets. Yes. So, uh, Brim.io. We're currently focusing on eye trackers. So, moment. Um, yeah, we're trying to uh, change the way we experience games and computers through alternative ways, like eye tracking. Yes, and we have uh, we have some yeah. eye trackers with us. We have this eye tracker. This uh, is an eye tracker. Yes, it's about twenty centimeters long or something. Yes, so it's not that big and not that huge, and it can. So um, it can see where I'm looking. So uh, uh, currently, uh, we had some problems setting up. So it's not actually 100% calibrated for me. It's uh, old calibration. It might be a look a bit odd. Yes. You'll probably see what it's trying to do. Yes. So for the time being, I'm trying to look at my mouse here, because I'm just going to see. Do we have alpha? Yeah, the, the circle's up, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, so we. I'm just saying that I'm trying to look at my mouse now. And. Yeah, I know. So. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, so you want me to start? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we mentioned what the tri tracker is and what it looks. So this is how it works there are infrared diodes out here at the, at the edges. Uh, together with uh, uh, two infrared cameras. So if we place eye tracker like this, infrared, uh, infrared diodes send out light, reflects on eyeballs, goes back into the cameras. That's used to do various things. Uh, you can see your, the size of your pupils, but that's not very interesting. Uh, but it can do, what it can do is give you 3D positioning of your eyes in 3D space. Uh, yeah. So what are we actually doing? We're not actually doing any uh, We're not actually hardware. We're not building any hardware. So this tracker is just uh, an input-output device for our software company that we're, uh, our software startup. So it's like if uh, any other software company would decide, they always had to design their own mouse. So that's not, that's not, gonna, not gonna work. Yes. And there are plenty of others that make trackers, so we just buy one. Yes. Works fine. Uh, on the, that note, there are multiple manufacturer trackers. Uh, this is Toby. There's, there, there's others called Mirametrics and uh, the iTribe. Yes, and some other smaller companies that are bubbling up. Looks like that, there are others that uh, like shaped like glasses that go over your eyes. There are smaller, thinner, there are, yeah, there are tra trackers come in many different ways. Uh, the reason why you probably haven't heard of it is for uh, helping disabilitated people, uh, people, with, with people with ALS, 
and stuff to do there to just be normal do their day, do their day life communicate over over, over the internet that kind of thing Big brother. Uh, very soon. Uh, there are multiple uh, tracker developers right now that's going for consumer uh, markets. So don't be surprised if you see them at Um, now, we, we were intentionally supposed to show the calibration step, because not all eyes are equal, are born equal. They are all different. As you can see, uh, I have glasses. They're quite So, that's a problem. And uh, my friend here, David, he has almost perfect eyes. So it needs to be calibrated. Uh, the calibration step is mainly, hey, I'm promising I'm looking at this point right now. Like this point? Yeah. And then this, kind of this point. This decides the accuracy and how many points to choose. Uh, uh, one of the reasons why we're late. Very short. Uh, it's from earlier when we did some eye tracking on uh, Super Mario All Stars. Yes, uh, we were tracking me, uh, and so so you can put off the eye tracking. I'm going to look off the screen. So not sure if you have any sound here. Oh, well. You can't see the ground. Yeah. You don't really need to. Uh, uh, this is not actually his first playthrough, but it's. He doesn't. He mostly plays Final Fantasy. Uh, as you can see, he's mostly focusing on uh, enemies, but also some other interesting things, like that mushroom. Uh, you all think that, oh, sure. Of course he's looking at the mushroom. He's trying to take it, but. Eh. Never know. Uh, yeah, he's mostly focusing on his enemies and obstacles. Um, we'll shortly go back a bit because you probably missed a little interesting detail. Uh, you probably oh, good. Oh, good, 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 good. Sorry, guys. First he's observing the star, and then he's looking at, will the star actually hit him? This, uh, this is actually an insight into the, his brain, and the, his... Uh, uh, another thing, if you didn't notice, he stopped looking at item boxes while he has this, had a star. <laughs> yes. Because he doesn't need them. Do we have any questions? No. <laughs> no questions? Uh, yeah. If you stop ch if chat can start asking questions, and yes. then you minutes or so. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna attempt to play. I know you probably might have seen the run last night, or whatever the time zone was for you, but we. My second playthrough of this game, so I. Yes. Second playthrough. You started uh, today yeah, 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 and yeah. played for five minutes. Uh, okay. Hardly, hardly a playthrough. Thank you. Do we get clear eye tracking data? Probably. Uh, from the chat, uh, it's uh, how does it affect it when you're having glasses? Like oh. Uh, the calibration step mostly takes care of that. Uh, I know the tracker is 
a bit bad on me. I don't. I'm not sure. Sure if it's the if the if it's the glasses, uh, because it's bad even if I take them off. Um, there are some tracker makes that apparently have problems with glasses. Won't name it. Won't do any name drop. Aware that a lot of people have glasses. When we did a uh, test with you earlier, we detected that uh, the calibration was a bit off for you. Uh, I have actually asked the manufacturer about this, and they said it should not be a problem. In your case, it's the pointer drifted a bit to the right. Uh, of course, still, that's something that can be. Uh, It will be affected, but not really a big problem. Uh, currently, there are we know that there are a couple of games being developed. Uh, one of them is called Son of Nor, that uh, will f uh, feature eye tracking for aiming, uh, amongst other things. Uh, we know that uh, Toby, our current tracker calibration, has made. Uh, uh, some demos with where um, the game knows where you're looking and causes NPCs looking at them, and then they'll start to start start a conversation with you. Could uh, be used for who knows next Elder Scrolls. Uh, uh, for the time being, there's like multiple games that uses it uh, hearing, uh, depending on where your screen. For where your eyes are looking instead of where you screen. Yeah, and uh, this can also open up some, perhaps, perhaps open up some uh, optimizations in uh, graphics engine where they uh, can uh, lower the rendering quality of where you're not looking. For tracking the eyes contact, or is it as well like thinking of like? Uh, you can do that. Uh, the problem is that direct control with the eyes is not what they were meant, of, meant to do. They are meant for scanning the air. Uh, you can control them. They are natural in aiming, for example. But direct control of the mouse, for example, is... So there. <laughs> Uh, if you show the mouse cursor, so the mouse cursor will jump around a bit. You'll probably see his uh, marker is jumping around. Uh, this will cause the uh, marker to jump around, and that will cause your eyes to react. Oh, something is moving. Let's focus on that one. And then it starts focusing a bit there, and then you're drifting about, drifting away. Indirectly, letting the game know what you're trying to do and then adapting after that. Was All that right. a suitable answer? Yes. So, Chad, if you have still further questions about the eye tracking device and. We're here for about two more minutes. Or five. Yeah. Or five. We can go to five. So, um, are you? Oh, what's up, Michael? Uh, what we have done is the tracker manufacturers look at the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the, <laughs> the, the tracker manufacturers intend you intend you to do a calibration once and then store it for use forever and ever until you change screen or change tracker. Seen or heard about that one? Uh, there's a lot of... We, the, the players change a lot, so we can't really just store the calibration and pull it up again because it's probably useless. 
Um, so what we did instead was that, okay, we don't really need a completely accurate Actually, almost half the amount of uh, calibration points that uh, that the others use, it's from nine to five. Uh, so that's a considerable speed up. Uh, but most of the speed is actually limited by the tracker in how fast it can process the points. When would it be accessible for the public and how much would it cost then, if you want to use that kind of device? Okay, uh, so in a first person shooter... That your eyes react faster than your hands. It, it's shorter, it's shorter distance from your brain for first. Uh, and second it's, you know, you have to have to move. It's big bulky hand. Um, sure, there are lots of people that can use the mouse really quick, quickly. I've seen it first hand at DreamHack. Oh, faster. Yes. Uh, there's others. Uh, you could do it for uh, perhaps quick changing of weapons. If you have a if you have a first person shooter with, where you can carry multiple weapons at a time, you have a bar where that shows all your weapons. Look at a weapon and it switches to it. And it's there is a, there is for the time being just the de um, development kits on the market, so there's actually not any real. But there will um, there will soon be consumer products. The development kit is for a hundred dollars. Uh, some development kits are a hundred dollars. Yes. Have some features that won't be necessary for computer uh, for a consumer release, so they're quite a bit more expensive at five hundred dollars. Yes. So uh, they're actually like it's not. But they're going down there at a uh, hundred dollars. Yes. Seventy euros. Yes. So it's not uh, a stream extremely big investment if you want to buy one and years yes i mean we have had this for this for these kinds of cans for two years and they have still a long way to go yes uh, was there a question part there was of when no they're partnering up with uh, pre-existing hardware uh, companies like steel series uh, to make manufacture them cheaper For us, that it should be released this year or next year, depending or ne on stuff. Yeah. Is this limited to some specific operation? Limited to anything. Uh, these eye trackers. Uh, first and foremost, on Windows. There are drivers for Linux and Android, but they're not as good. Um, um, so, there we know the iTribe, for example, uh, uh, they certainly have Windows. Yes. So don't expect free BSD anytime soon. No. So the, for the time being, it's mostly. For, because that's what the what the big groups of people are using. Technology that's specific, some special um, that we use for some special stuff. This on uh, Linux. But, but the driver is just not up to it just right now. Uh, the manufacturers, 
the, the, the manufacturers want to get out to consumers, and consumers, unfortunately, run Windows. Yes. Sure. We can't, yes, we just can't promise when. Uh, okay, so what you're uh, right now hope this is will this will be interesting for you. If it's not, well, maybe it's not the right game. Uh, we know that, for example, StarCraft uh, viewers that were negative. A lot of them were very positive as soon as long as soon as we changed the S trail marker. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, we know that there's a lot of potential here, and uh, a lot of different games that can use it. While we've been here, we've heard, we heard a lot of about strategy games. That's kind of, uh, there's a lot of thinking. It's actually tracking a handle game, for example. Yes. Um, what was the question again? Yes. I think you answered it. Okay. What uh, what the twi what you could get out of it as a yeah. viewer? Uh, we also have uh, uh, all pro product pro process. We actually uh, ha wanted to show you statistics and heat maps also, but because we this is a work in progress, they are not bugs in them. Last time I saw heat maps. They were kind of work. Send them over to uh, XSplit. Yes. We're working on it. Yes. Uh, stat statistics we were supposed to show, but uh, issue with the software, last minute updates, something happened, we just couldn't show it. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, we can shut okay, down Okay, uh, thank you very much for your demonstration. Uh, yeah. Flicky's just about ready. Oh, right, right, sorry. Recap uh, number two. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, just one thing more. Uh, we've... We're ready. For providing... Yeah. Um, you see the page as well in the stream layout, so you can just check out the website if you want. Yes. Uh, that I think that was all. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Dreamio. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! So let's turn this off. Dreamio. So now, next coming up is the recap. So hang out for that. Afterwards, there's going to be Goldeneye.